Howdy folks, I'm DC Fraser with the Regina Leader Post, joined here by my good friend Alex McPherson from the Saskatoon Star Phoenix. We are at the leadership convention for the Saskatchewan party, and Alex, by the end of the night, we're gonna have a new premiere. What, what are we expecting? Uh, well, the day right now, not much is happening. People are milling around, uh, schmoozing, frankly, and uh, that's gonna start to change in about an hour when the candidates get up to speak. The premier uh, is gonna give probably his last speech around four, and we should start seeing results by six. And uh, Looks like it's not going to take very long. Um, you know, at most, probably 45 minutes to an hour to get all the ballot results in. And it's been a long race. It's been about five months to take us to this point. Here we are. There's a lot of empty chairs, but as Alex says, it's going to be filled up in a bit. Um, and to this point, there's been a couple of highlights throughout the campaign. One of the main highlights is perhaps the lack of. We've seen a lot of agreement throughout the entire race and uh, a lot of general consensus, not a ton of policy discussion. What, what are some of the highlights for you, Alex? I think that that is one. And another one is how close this race is. At this point, it is way too close to call. Um, I think that any one of the candidates who's going to be on stage tonight could conceivably win it. Um, some seem to have more support than others, but really nobody knows what's going to happen. And that's uh, you know, sometimes unusual in a leadership race. So really, you can speculate all day, but we won't know until the ballots start coming in. And those ballots will start coming in around 6 p.m., so join us on Facebook at the Star Phoenix Facebook page and the Leader Post Facebook page. You'll be joined by Alex, myself, and uh, our columnist, Murray Mandrick. Thanks so much.